you can let me know when we're live. I think you should see the pop-up coming. Right? I think we're live. Are we live yet? Pull down so it refreshes. Uh, give it just a second. It's got a long feed in there. Keep, no, no. Yes, we're live. Okay. All right. So you guys had asked me to show you a demo of how to do the wood burning. So I'm going to show you really super simple how to do this. Um, can you go ahead and type in there? Um, chuckcouture.com forward slash cast creations and more. I'm going to show you guys um, where to get the link to the transfers if you guys are interested in signing up and getting um, transfers. So, super simple. So, this is an idea I saw last year just before Christmas. And because you guys know that I am a Chuck Couture representative, well, I buy a lot of the Chuck Couture transfers um, because I like to make my own signs. Um, so, I thought I'd show you how super simple this is. This is a um, cutout. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Let me look, make sure. I think it's Hobby Lobby or it's, um, what should I call it? Walmart. So you can find pre-cut wood. This is only, I think, $2.99. And then I am using a transfer that I have left over from fall. What are you looking for? Do you have anything? Use chocolatecure.com. Uh, cats, creations, and more. That's it. It needs to all be together, though. It is, is it together? Yeah, okay, it go ahead and click. There we go. Um, so I'm having Steve pin the link. I don't think it's, I don't know. He's playing with it. So we're not on the Mevo. We're actually out in the garage because if you're wood burning and you do this inside, it'll set off your smoke detectors because you are wood burning. Um, so you want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated space. It's a little too cold for us to be outside, so we're in the garage. So... Um, I figured out that this would pretty much fit on here. So I'm going to show you how super simple it is. Um, I prefer to use the chalk transfers because these are silk screened. You could get between, I would say like 12 to 20 uses per, um, transfer as long as you take really good care of your transfers. Um, so I'm going to burn this for you guys so you can see how super simple it is. So... What I'm going to do is take, and you can see that this is an actual silk screened transfer. I'm going to line these up so I can try to get as much of the detail in as possible. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. And then you're going to make sure that there is absolutely no air bubbles in here whatsoever. I'm trying to make sure that I get my eye right at the top so that I can get all the detail on my wood burn. Okay, so this is a, um, it's called Pumpkin Anything, is the transfer from Chalk Couture. So it's all on there, I'm all ready to go. Then you're gonna use a product that's called Torch Paste. So it's an actual wood burning paste. Because I'm already familiar with how to do Chalk Couture transfers, um, I thought I would try this because it just looked way too simple to do. And I'm all about that and you get, Let's see how much is in here. Does it even say? It's like 2.7 ounces. It's really small. So you're just going to take your little squeegee that you get with your Chalk Couture kit. And you're going to just grab a little bit of paste. Like literally a little bit. And we want to cover everything on our transfer using all the paste and it kind of turns it a light orange color so you can see where everything's at. And you can see a little honestly goes a very long way. And you wanna make sure all the details are covered. Just like so. So make sure everything is covered in a really nice paste. I'm trying not to overdo it because the last time I did it, I put a ton of paste on and then I was forever trying to wipe off all the excess. So now I'm just trying to do this super easy. And I wanted something that had a lot of detail in it for this. Okay. 
and you want to make sure you don't get any off the transfer at all. We're going to take all this excess. We're going to wipe all this off. This is about $17 for the little jar of torch paste. So we just wipe everything off. Was it just for the one jar or was it though for five jars? Just one jar. Just one jar. Yeah, just one jar. But like I said, a little goes a long way. So we're going to take that off. I'm going to go ahead and pull my transfer off just like that. You can see everything on my transfer. We need to let this dry for about two minutes. So I'm going to take my chalk transfer. I'm going to go ahead and lay this upside down. That will actually wash off really super nice. I'm going to make sure it's 303 now. So I'm going to make sure we give it a full two minutes. They say to let it dry for a full two minutes so it actually, the paste can go down into the wood surface so that it's not something that is like if we do regular chalk transfers, it's just surface layer. This actually will penetrate the wood. It's all water soluble, so everything comes off super, super easy. Just like that. Make sure I keep those pretty far away. Um, let me show you while we're waiting for that one to dry what we did already. So we did this one. I played within a little transfer and then we just stained everything. So you'll burn it and then if you want to stain it, you can stain it. We also did one with um, the love and then you can just clear coat these and then they're great for whatever use you wanna do in the home. Um, you can put them on the signs. The only thing you can't do is paint your surface and then wood burn on top of that for obvious reasons, right? paint's flammable so the stain is flammable so you would burn first then stain or wood burn first and then seal it with clear sealer just to bring out the natural grain in the wood okay do you guys have any questions so far on this no it's just that i'm still learning i haven't transferred anything yet okay so it's super fun and i have a ton of these transfers so I was whipping them out pretty quick and Steve's like, wow, man, you could really do a ton of these fairly quick. So we got about another minute to go and then we will start the wood burning process and you'll see how super easy it is. Now the torch paste, you have to buy, um, I think we found it through Etsy, right? Cause there's yeah. a company on Etsy. I can't remember what the name of the company is. They sell five jars of this. I want to say for like 70 bucks and I was thinking these were going to be the size of like the chalk paste but as you can see I mean I've done this will be the fourth sign I've done and I have barely used anything as far as the paste goes. Can you hold it up a little bit closer to the mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. what's the name of the product it's just called torch paste. torch paste it's literally called the original wood burning paste so just like the um, and that's exactly it. Okay. So. Kathy, you can just use any type of, of wood little plaques. You got these from Hobby Lobby. You can get them Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Lowe's. Where's those other you pieces it. you found? You had them in here? No, I never brought them in. Oh, you never brought them in? No. Just, you can even use them with scrap pieces of wood that you have laying around. No, just to kind of um, try it out, see how well you like it. Um, I happen to have a ton of wood slices that were given to me by a friend a couple years ago that passed away. Um, so you can use anything you want. I mean, Hobby Lobby has them like this, like this. This is only like $3 at Hobby Lobby. This was $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. And they're already beveled. They're already like done for you. You can, it depends if you want to sand them down, you can sand them down. Um, yep, they have torch pens too, so you can use a torch pen for really fine stuff. Yeah. Um, and the transfers are from Chalk Couture. Great. So if you want to order the the transfers from me, or you want to, like, I think if you go through my link and you sign up, you can get a set of transfers and then you get the chalk paste. Or if you just want to buy a handful of transfers from me, you guys can do that through my link on Chalk Couture. So... Um, now what you're going to need is you're going to need a heat gun that is at least, uh, what is it? A thousand Watts. 
So I actually asked for all this stuff for Christmas. I wanted a heat gun. I wanted a, it's called a scorch marker. And then I wanted, um, what's it called? Torch paste. So that I can play with the transfers I have um, and just see how easy that was. And I swear you guys are gonna be like, wow, this is super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm gonna keep this about two inches from the surface. And so when I initially turn it on, I'm just gonna warm the entire board. And then you'll start to see, I can tell when it's gonna to start to work because you know how the smell of wood is? It's got like that burning wood smell. You'll be able to see the actual wood burning process happen. And it's a cat wasn't where you did chalk couture also. Yeah, you've done it for a while. I have a chalk, kind of... I have a chalk couture page. I just haven't done anything on it for right. a while. And then Marilyn asked how much was the transfer? Uh, transfer's I... only like five or seven dollars, right? Well, it depends. Yeah. So if you are a designer, which means you get 40% off your transfers, um, it might only be like seven or eight, seven or eight dollars. But then if you're not, then you have to add 40% to the cost of the transfer. So, gotcha. all right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's going to get just a touch loud. Like I said, I have to apologize for doing it in the garage, but it's wood burning. So we're putting this on high. I'm going to warm the surface of my wood. And it's going to start to burn the wood now because I can smell it. We'll play with the banner where it says van. We'll get that to go first. You can see it's starting to darken the banner. It's looking super nice. You can do a nice fade if you want. It's actually burning this into the wood. Almost done. There's just some little details that I'm trying to get it to bring out on this line. Stormy asked, how well does the marker work? You haven't tried the marker yet. I haven't tried the marker because it literally is a marker. So honestly, I would rather prefer doing it on a transfer, swiping the paste on, pulling the transfer off, rinsing the transfer off, and then, um, we're good. So it's just nice and warm right now, but that's as super simple as it goes. You could stain it, you could leave it the way that it is, but now this is 100%, well, I kind of smudged it because I should have probably let it dry, but um, because you're doing it with an actual, you're burning it into the wood, mm -hmm. you've got to kind of let that cool off. So I kind of smudged away, um, but that's how simple it is to use um, the torch paste um, with chalk couture transfers. And um, can, well, I was going to say, you can grab the bigger one that I just did, that oh, big okay. slice. You can do the comments and kind of reply to them. I'll have Steve From go Tara. get. Tara 
um, Tara, I've never really tried this very cool. I'm excited to open my first consignment booth today to sell crafts. I'll have to try this. What I like about this is people who actually do the legitimate wood burning with the, the tool, it just takes them a very long time to get this done, whereas this is super simple to um, do and get it done. Um, right, Anna? Anna said, I was at the Dollar Tree today and the heart wreath worms are small this year, so I'm hoping they didn't downsize them. They're actually kind of small to begin with anyway, um, but you could pick up the wood slices that now Dollar Tree starts to sell. And I'll show you, here's the bigger one I just finished a little while ago, um, which is something Steve and I have said to each other for countless um, numbers of years, and this is already done. So you can see there's no smudgy. So I just had to let that one dry a little bit more um, and cool off, and then you won't have the, the charcoal coming through the actual transfer. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Just this is... On, just this is super simple, and like I said, I know that Dollar Tree starts to carry the wood slices, so you could easily um, do these with, you know, dollar pieces of wood, but, I mean, the ones that we did, yeah, um, no, the bigger pieces, let me see that, see, this is from Hobby Lobby, this is $1.99, and it's already bevel cut if you wanted to just make signs, um, and then if you want to stain it, you're just going to use whatever wood stain you have. We have like the Minwax wood finish. So you just rub it on with a paper towel. Wipe it, off. Yeah. wipe it off just like we did here. And then that's the stain look that you get with your um, transfer. Mm -hmm. So it looks super nice. It's super, super easy to do. Um, <laughs> Tara, the, if you go to Etsy and just type in torch paste, you'll find the company that sells it. So she has a shop that she sells it on uh, through there, Etsy. There's a few of them out there. Yeah. Um, Stormy says, I was curious about this, if it really worked, right? So I had to share with you. I was like, those were things I asked for for Christmas because I have boxes of chalk couture transfers. And I and thought, how? <laughs> yeah, and wood slices. So I was like, these are going to be nice because you can make these. You could list these in your Etsy shop if you were doing them at a craft fair. Um you're gonna have access to all of this. Granted, it's gonna be exactly like what it would be on a wood transfer. You know, you're not gonna guarantee perfection because it's handmade. Just like, um, you know, you might have an imperfection in the wood, like down here, there's a slight gouge um, in the wood slice. And then what I noticed is as I was wood burning this, the grain of the pine was actually coming through on the wood slice. And this is an actual wood slice um, so it's kind of nice to just be able to do something yeah, super simple. Yeah, and I believe simple. that the page is yours, right? Yeah, even though it comes up Chalk Couture, if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, you won't see it here. Um, it's my Chalk Couture page on uh, Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture. Yeah. Right, so um, hopefully you guys like that. I haven't tried the ones at Hobby Lobby or like Dollar Tree because here's the thing. You can buy a regular, what is it, like transfer um like what do they call it a stencil stencil yeah stencils are going to be a little bit more challenging the one thing i like about the chalk couture is it's like an adhesive so when you lay it down it's actually sticking to the surface which prevents the torch paste from going under um the transfer like it would if it was just a stencil yeah diane she does have the i love you to the moon and back stencil yes I she's do. got a ton of them yeah, yeah. so literally i have tons but i was like now that i finally have all these wood slices and stuff that like i said i got a giant tub of them i'm like ooh, this is kind of easy um to just make a whole bunch of super simple signs yeah. and you can't charge as much for them right but what for the signs um you can charge 15 to 20 dollars depending upon yeah like i think i forget how much this one was because it's an actual slice i think this was like nine dollars um, and then you just have the the transfer, which nobody can buy this transfer. I think this transfer is actually discontinued. Um, same thing with um, the love transfer. That was one that we've had for a couple of years, and I think um, it's really popular. Mm -hmm. But um, they're super nice. So I'm going to take some on a really nice, huge 
wood board and um, I have one that's all kitchen measurements so it's like everything like how like what is like a cup yeah, worth cool. teaspoons stuff like that so I'm gonna put it on a really nice piece of wood and then just burn it and I'll keep you guys informed Dan, so thank you you guys are great you're welcome again it's just something else you can add that's super simple and easy to do and you can supplement it with everything else that you've done so there you guys go thanks for joining me hope you guys enjoy this and i will talk to you all soon bye everyone